Oh, what a beautiful morning. It's Friday morning, and that means it's time for the first federal program on WROI Giant FM and streaming live on the First Federal Facebook page. It is Friday morning, and that means it is time for the first federal program here on WROI Giant FM. Joined now with Tanner. And Tanner, it is a beautiful morning, and you're back. It is a beautiful morning. I'm back. Happy to be back in studio this week. Missed everybody last week. Yeah, you know, you slept in and you know <laughs> partied and things like that. Uh, yeah, I was down in down South Carolina. It was pretty humid down there. Uh, so I heard. Yeah. And it looks like you got back just in time, too. Yeah, I'm loving this weather this week. It looks <laughs> like it's got to be good temperatures this weekend. Mid to high 70s, I see. See, there is a slight chance of rain tomorrow after about 2 p.m. Yeah, that's okay, though. That's expected around this time of year. It's, yeah. it's hard to believe we're already in September, isn't it? I know. I was uh, Wednesday when I realized it was September 1st. I was sitting there going, where did the year go? It's flying by. Yeah, it definitely hit me. September 1st. It, I mean, we must be having yeah. a lot of fun because they say time flies when you're having fun. So. <laughs> That's what we'll say. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely gone faster than last year. Yeah, that 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 is a very true statement. So, uh, well, it's Labor Day weekend this weekend coming up. We yes, got Labor Day is. coming up on Monday. So everybody or most people have a nice three-day weekend to enjoy, yep. relax, and refresh a little bit. And uh, at First Federal Savings Bank, we will be closed on Monday in observance of Labor Day, but we will be open on Tuesday with our normal hours. Okay. So, but of course, if you need to get any banking done on Monday, you can always download the First Federal Savings Bank app, and our ATMs open as well, twenty four seven. So, so you can still get some banking done even when we're not open. Yeah. <laughs> got some trivia for you this morning, Paul. I got two questions. Okay. But both relate to today's show. Uh, we're going to be speaking with Lori Tilden, Tilden Geiger this morning. Uh, she's going to be talking about the Akron Summer Zen Festival. So I got one trivia question related to Akron. Okay. What was the original name of Akron, Indiana? Oh. Was it Newark, Delaware, Medina, or has it always been Akron? Okay. Those are your four choices for that one. The second one, when did Labor Day become a federal holiday? Ooh. So 1872. 1894 or 1902 okay i feel better about the first one than i do the second one yeah, I, so. I figured that might be we'll the case see. but well we'll see well I'll, I'll give you all a show to think about that how about that all right Does that sound fair okay yeah <laughs> got some sports to talk about this morning a lot of local sports going on this time of year um football season's now going into its third week which is exciting uh, the Zebras got their first win last week over Knox. That was their first win since the 2019 sectional when they defeated Delphi. Uh, see if they can get a, their first conference win tonight. They travel over to Wicko to face the Wildcats. Uh, Wicko's winless so far on the year. They're 0-2. Always a little tricky road game over there. It's always a unique yeah. unique drive over there to Whitley County. Yes, it is. So to, to play Wicko, that's kind of... I want to say it's still the farthest drive in the conference, but I could be I could be wrong by that. It could be McConaughey now. I think it might be McConaughey now. So it's changed a lot since I was in high school. Okay. Okay, even more <laughs> since I was in high school. <laughs> good Thank point. you. Good point. But the, what time's uh, pregame tonight on WROI? Six thirty p.m. Six thirty, like always. Tune in if you can't go. Yeah. Uh, Typical New Valley Vikings are off to a really good start this year with a 2 0 record. They also have a conference game tonight on the road. They're going to be traveling down to Peru to face the Tigers. The Tigers have a 1 on 1 record, so it should be another fun one. Mm -hmm. Winnemac, uh, they're ranked top 10 right now in Class A. They uh, beat Pioneer by a good margin last week. They're 2 0. They traveled to North White this week. North White only has one game under their belt. They're okay. 1 0. Not, not sure. Well, what the case is there, why they didn't play two games, but there must be a reason. Uh, Caston, they got a one on one record. They're traveling over to Triton, who also has a one on one record. And Culver, uh, another team who's only played one game, they're 0 and 1. They travel to Knox tonight, who's 0 and 2. So somebody in that game's got to get their first victory. Yeah. Somebody has to. Somebody has to, yes. <laughs> unless there would happen to be weather or something, but I don't think that's in the forecast tonight. So, no. I think they're safe to yes, they somebody safe. to come out victorious there. Well, college football, uh, I know last week we had a few games. It was dubbed week zero. <laughs> There's about five games, I think, last week. But this week is officially week one. Had some games last night. Uh, Minnesota, Ohio State was kind of the headliner. Ohio State beat Minnesota in a pretty good game, 45-31. 
and it's amazing. Vegas knows there was a 14-point spread on the game. It ends up being 14 points. It's yeah. kind of funny how that works out a lot of times. Always. Uh, but a lot of local teams in action this weekend. Uh, you got the number 17 Indiana Hoosiers. Yes, Todd, number 17. That wasn't a wasn't a typo. <laughs> <laughs> like Todd said, it's the kickoff to their Rose Bowl season. What do you yeah. say? 50, 55? Yeah, 55. 1967. 55 times. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 1967 was the last Rose Bowl appearance for the Hoosiers. The year after Purdue. Yes, <laughs> that is correct. Purdue in 1966, then again in uh, the 2000 season, but 2001 was the Rose Bowl date. Um, we'll see if either team could get back there this year. But Indiana <laughs> starts at number 18, Iowa, tomorrow. So about as even on paper as you can get. Iowa's a three-and-a-half point favorite. That game's going to be at 3.30 on the Big Ten Network. Okay. So tune in if you have RTC cable. That's uh, channel 337, and it should be a good one. Uh, Purdue starts their season tomorrow tomorrow night at home hosting Oregon State. Uh, Purdue's a seven-point favorite. That game's 7 o'clock on Fox Sports 1. So once again, if you have RTC, that's channel 328. So looking forward to that game. I'm I'm going down. It's first time I'm going to be in Ross State Stadium since November 2019. So it's been a while, but... But looking forward to it. I think it's near a near a sellout as of right now, so it should be fun. Okay. In the Fighting Irish, Notre Dame, uh, they play Sunday night, prime time, seven thirty on ABC. They're at Florida State. Notre Dame's a seven and a half point favorite. Okay. So good good slate of games this weekend. Should be fun. I'm just glad college football's back mm-hmm. and glad fans yeah. are in the stands. It was right. a very right. cool visual last night in Minnesota. That crowd was sold out and having a good time. Good, good. So. They deserve it. Um, and then next week, of course, we'll have NFL football to preview as the season kicks off uh, yeah. next Thursday night, actually, the Buccaneers and the Cowboys. Yeah. So got some tidbits here this morning, Paul. On this day in 1833, the New York Sun began, pu- began publishing. It okay. was the first daily newspaper. Okay. On this day in 1995, a company you may have heard of, eBay. Yeah, Electronic Bay. That's what it stands for. Did really? you know? Did you know? I did no? not know that. It See, was, there could have been your trivia. Yeah, question it could have been. Got it wrong. It, that that was founded on this day in 1995, and they're still going strong today. Yeah, not uh, not prob- as, as strong, strong as thanks to Amazon correct. and things like that. But yeah, they're still doing pretty correct, good for themselves. Yeah. And some people like that auction style. Yes, which there are items there you can just buy at a one price, but there's a lot right. up for auction. People like the thrill of. Oh, auctions are always the, the, fun. Yeah, the competitiveness of an auction. And on this day in 2013, Microsoft purchased Nokia for $7.2 billion. Man, you know, I got to say, Nokia phones were very, very sturdy. Yeah, they were. You could throw those <laughs> things, drop those things, run them over, and they just Sounds kept going. Sounds like you had some experience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, I remember having a Nokia phone, too, and it, it you're right, and it dropped it many times and not even a scratch. So. Yep. I uh, got some national days today. Today's National Skyscraper Day. Okay. So you might have to travel outside of Rochester yeah, to see I don't a skyscraper. Think, I don't so. think you're going to see those here. So bring your manners to work day. Oh, I, I always try that at least. <laughs> College Colors Day. That's kind of why I might uh, have this producer on I just got blue today. on. <laughs> Lazy Moms Day. And I meant to look this other one up, and I never did. It's Welsh Rarebit Day. I have no clue. <laughs> no, everybody <laughs> around the room doesn't have an idea either. So I, some some type of food. Some type of food. Some type of food. Okay, at least we narrowed it down a little bit. You'll have to Google that for the training post today. Yes, I will. Got some upcoming events going on in the area. Have the first ever Galen Smith Memorial Golf Outing. That's going to be held on Friday, September twenty fourth at eleven a.m. at the Round Barn Golf Club here in Rochester. Cost is seventy five dollars per player or three hundred for a team of four players. A whole sponsorships are still available. Those are $100 a piece. Deadline for those is September 10th, so next Friday is the deadline for everything. Okay. Uh, there will be a reception after golf at the Rochester Elks. The reception is going to start at 6.30. It's open to the public. It's going to be a, a silent auction um, and just kind of a party to remember Mr. Galen Smith. Yes. Uh, checks can be made out to the Northern Indiana Community Foundation, and you can contact uh, – Eric Lee at 812-216-3466 for more information. Okay. Uh, pickleball fever is going on in Rochester lately, Paul. I, I've it, heard. It really, across 
the country. Pickleball is a sport that's gaining yeah. more and more momentum. And uh, trying to get some pickleball courts set up uh, at the city pool, near the city pool location. Looking to get four pickle courts Pickleball courts set up there. <laughs> That's kind of a tongue twister there. A little bit. Uh, the new yeah. courts will cost uh, $60,000. Mm-hmm. The group's looking to get raise $40,000 with the help of the Community Foundation's grant. Donations of 1000 or more. If you make a donation of 1000 or more, you can get your name listed as a sponsor at the courts. No. Oh. Checks can be made out to Fedco. And for more information, you can get a hold of Scott Kissler. His phone number is 574 574- Eight three five eight nine eight zero. Okay. And one more event to go over this morning. The Sayo Desai, they're presenting the Rose Raz, actually, I think how you pronounce it, the Raz Puppets on Thursday, September 16th. There's going to be two showings of George and the Dragon. Mm. One showing is going to be at 1 p.m. at the Fulton County Public Library, and the other one's at 6.30 at the Rochester High School Auditorium. Okay. So some family fun there for the kids. Yeah. Nice yeah. puppet show they're going to be putting on. So uh, if you can't make it at 1 o'clock at the public library, go to the 630 showing at the Rochester High School Auditorium. So two chances. Or you can go to both. If you go <laughs> yeah. the first time enjoy it enough, yeah. go the second time. So got some money news this morning. Uh, good day for the Dow yesterday. It ended up um, going up by 131 points. It closed at 35,443.82. And the futures are up this morning by 60 points at 35,484. Yeah, that's not so, bad at all. Uh, I think it's been a pretty good week for the Dow, and we'll see what it does today. As Mr. Dick Belcher says, it's either going to go up or it's going to go down. So yeah. it can be a roller coaster at times. It can be. Uh, some other money news. Um, not the most positive money news, but it, it relates to the auto industry right now. Uh, I saw where Ford's U.S. sales declined 33% in August. It's mainly due to the chip shortage going on across the auto world, really. Um, I I read the chip shortage is is expected to cost the global auto auto industry $110 billion in revenue. Wow. Yeah. Good Lord. I just want a fraction of that to go into my pocket. (laughs) Uh, And GM also announced they're going to be halting some production eight of their u.s plants they're going to halt the production on the silverados in the next two weeks okay so i think ford's doing a similar thing with f-150 so yeah so hopefully um can get this chip shortage problem figured out sooner rather than later because it's it's killing the inventory and and the prices are going up on the vehicles because yeah dealers have no other choice really right so well, at First Federal today, we are open from 8.30 till 5, and tomorrow from 8.30 to noon, we'd love to see you, whether it be in our lobby or our drive through uh, Like I mentioned at the start of the show, we are going to be closed on Monday in observance of Labor Day, uh, but that doesn't mean you can't do any banking with us. You can always bank with us online and with our mobile app, which is free to download, whether you have an Android device or Apple device, go to the Google Play Store or the App Store, type in First Federal Savings Bank, look for the white star with the green background, download the app, and you can check uh, check your, your balances, you can make mobile deposits, you can transfer money from person to person through Zelle. Do all sorts of things on there. And, and our ATM is also open 24-7 as well if you need some cash. And okay. we're on the Money Pass network, so if you're traveling over the weekend for Labor Day, uh, get on moneypass.com, type in your zip code, and it will tell you the Money Pass locations for ATM locations that are surcharge free. Awesome. So we do have a couple others here in Rochester, and in the bigger cities there's a lot more locations. Okay. So. Well, our Elkhart branch today, for everybody watching on Facebook World or listening on WRI who might be traveling to Elkhart today for work or shopping or whatever it may be, our Elkhart branch is having their Community Appreciation Day today from awesome. 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock. They're going to have food from Swayze Q Barbecue. Ooh. It's a food truck. Uh, they're going to be serving barbecue pulled pork and pulled chicken. So you're okay. going to have a choice between the two. They're also going to have uh, paper shredding bins there. So if you have a lot of documents you've saved up for who knows how many years, or maybe just the past year or past few months, come and shred those for free. We're also going to have some First Federal Savings Bank giveaways, and the Second Chance Small Dog Rescue will be there as well with mm. some with some dogs and some pups. So okay. you could uh, adopt a dog today if you wanted to. You going to go adopt another one? <laughs> I don't think <laughs> Elway would like another dog around. <laughs> but but they're all always great looking dogs, and it's a, it's a great program they got going on there. 
Oh, we still got our Simply Free checking accounts, of course, going on right now. We offer Simply Free checking accounts and Simply Free business checking accounts. Right now, when you open up a new checking account with us, you get a free gift, which is a stubby tool set. Ooh. We got two different colors. One set's uh, pink and black. One set's red and black. Okay. So, and, and of course, if you already have a checking account with us, but you want to get the gift, there's another way you can get it. You can refer a friend. So when your friend comes in to open up an account, not only do they get a gift for opening up a new account, you get one too for referring them. So Yeah. So well, if you go open an account today, tell them Paul sent you. There you go. Always making your pitch. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Shameless plug. So and of course we have uh, many different loan products. You can contact uh, Stacy Wilson or Ben Dalton here in, in Rochester and Winnemac for more details on those. They can help you out. And we have uh, commercial lending. Contact Lindy Breeden for more information. Insurance services, you can get a quote today by calling 833-331-0020 or going to our homepage, firstfederalsavingsbank.com, our homepage right there has a link you can click on to get more information. And we also offer financial services. Contact Brian Bell or Mark Blueball today for more information. They can help you out with uh, planning your retirement, 401k, IRA, all things of that nature. So uh, we're a full service bank, Paul, and we take we take pride yes, in that. Yes, you guys are, and it's really enjoyable because you can do everything on right. one spot. You're right. Uh, please like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at FF Banking as our handle on those. You can also like us on LinkedIn and sub- subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find all the past the radio shows from the past, I believe, three years on YouTube. We also have interviews with different First Federal family members on there. Uh, we have product videos, a little bit of everything, really trying to grow the channel. So yeah, uh, subscription would be uh, appreciated for everybody okay. out there. So we're the only locally owned bank in Fulton County. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines. We are FDIC insured and equal housing lender. And our NMLS number is 399927. And that makes us legal. That makes us legal. Now we get to the meat of the program, our special guest. Lori Tilden Geiger, who is of Tippecanoe New Valley Schools, but this morning she's going to be talking with us about the Akron Summer Zen Festival. Good morning, Lori. Good morning, Tanner and Paul. Thanks for joining us. You bet. You bet. So, the, so the Akron Summer Zen Festival is going on this year, of course. Um, tell me a little bit about how the idea got started for this festival, because this isn't the first year, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, it actually started as a Fulton County um, Leadership Academy project okay um two years ago we had a group um about six of us and um a person came up with this idea and um we started it it was great success um it was so much fun we had a celebrity couple newlywed game which was just a oh, that's, that sounds yes, fun. yeah so um but this year we have some bigger and better things so we did have to cancel last year and we hated that um but we're back yeah worth the yeah. wait right absolutely bigger and better now yes so, and this is put on by the Akron Chamber of Commerce, It sure correct? is, yeah. Um, Akron Chamber um, helps um, sponsor a lot of things. Akron Fourth of July is the big one. Sure. We bring thousands of people into town. And, you know, the group decided we don't we want to get together more than once a year. Our community loves to gather. Mm-hmm. And what a great um, time to celebrate the start of fall Um, because it's september 25th is the festival and we're a you know thriving rural community so it's an opportunity to gather and rest for a moment and and have some fun with our community yeah i mean akron's got a lot going on it is hopping yeah Uh, (laughs) it is yes so i'm looking down here and it looks like i mean you got a whole schedule of events going on this year what 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 goes into coming up with that, those events? You know, um, we have a, a smaller committee um, that really kind of starts the ideas, and then they kind of grow from there. But um, we heard from several people. You know, we miss having a car show in Akron, mm-hmm. so we are bringing back a car cruise in. It's a car, truck, motorcycle cruise in. Um, we've got some um, great dash plaques for them. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, and then we also they'll be getting goodie bags with a lot of um, local businesses coupons and information um and there may be a special price for the hundredth car that drives in oh, but don't be driving around the block yes. till you're the hundredth but <laughs> but yeah that's a little surprise there but yeah so um you know we're really excited about that um and they'll be on the soccer field at pike memorial park okay. so they'll they can sit by their car if they like and still hear the the entertainment so we'll be gathered there in the beautiful park and if somebody wants to 
enter their car for this? How do they go about doing sure, that? Sure, there's no um, registration ahead of time. Oh, okay. And two, um, we decided um, instead of charging a registration fee when they come, it's a free will donation to the oh, Summer's End great. Festival. And that way we want to build it up for next year, but we went, really want people just to come yeah. and have fun. So we made it, you know, as affordable as possible just a donation as you check in there and um yeah sit and enjoy do you have a, a count right now how many cars you might be expecting I, we hope over a hundred yeah 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 sure sure <laughs> sure I, at least so, 101 yeah. exactly yeah, 101. yeah exactly so i see you're also going to have some uh, free games for children uh food vendors food trucks yeah. uh golf cart utv parade can you tell me a little more about that that's cool that's new this year okay. so you know akron i love being a rural community um the town of akron had the vision and foresight to um, make ordinances that you can drive your golf cart mm -hmm. on the back roads and we just added utv I mean, we're rural. Everybody has a UTV, so um, it's so cool. And, you know, at night you see families driving down the street. But we thought, how cool would it be for them to decorate them? And the theme, um, and we'll be getting this information out, is um, small town magic. And um, so it, that could be anything from Mayberry to whatever. So yeah. um, there will be a prize for the best decorated cool. um, UTV or um, golf cart. Very cool. But yeah, so they'll start um, near the fire station and we'll have a route that'll go down to the park so they can enjoy the rest of the evening. Yeah, if somebody wants to get involved with that, do they have to register They don't have to pre-register. Nope. nope, we'll have information. They'll just show up to line up and um, we'll lead them from there. Easy but enough. that'll kind of kick it off. Yeah, kind of a fun, um, yeah, to celebrate um that akron has that um it's like a little golf cart town yeah it's really yeah, cool. yeah yeah You'll, if you go to akron you're probably going to see at least one at least. drive through driving absolutely. around absolutely yeah. yeah it might be me <laughs> <laughs> you always got to dodge them if you actually are from out of town like for the town wide garage sale oh yes oh yeah. absolutely <laughs> yeah absolutely so are you decorating your golf cart that, um, that's the question I'm probably not because no. I'm no. hoping in other areas. I, I think you should yeah. decorate it, but not be able to win. That, oh yeah, that's yeah, true. That, yeah, I think, I think, well, I think that's we'll, the route yeah. you should go. Yeah, so. so that'll be a lot of fun. And you talked about the free kids games. Mm -hmm. You know, it was very important for us that first time. We want it as easy for parents to come and enjoy. And so, what a better way to you know have free games for them. Mm -hmm. right. And um, we have a lot of um, high school students and even elementary students and middle school students that help run those games. Oh, that's great. So we bring they get community service hours through that and it's just a win-win and you know, what kind of games are we are we um, talking? they're kind of carnival like games okay. yeah okay. yeah Fun. with prizes yeah. oh they, kids, kids always like prizes everybody yeah. likes prizes i know everybody i know prizes. yeah so. talking with Lori tilton geiger this morning she's talking about the akron summer's end festival and i also see there's gonna be live music this is fun. So Quentin Flagg, um, he does 50s and 60s music, and which goes right along with the car cruising, and um, he is an entertainer. I went to see him a couple weeks ago up at the barns at Napanee, and mm -hmm. he's got a following. I mean, people follow mm -hmm. him. But, uh, and he's been to Akron at the 4th of July several years ago. Um, fun. What a fun entertainer. So bring your lawn chair and just sit and enjoy. So we're pretty excited to have him. Yeah, he's going to be us. performing 50s and 60s music? 50s and 60s, 50s and 60s, yeah. So we're looking for somebody that will help us teach maybe a mini lesson before the show starts so people can get up and dance ah. you know, during the so. I'm not found that. Do you? I was saying, 60, that no. No. I, I didn't it's a little before my time. You know, I wasn't trying to date him that much, but <laughs> I, everybody else looked at him, so I had to. <laughs> <laughs> no, me, me neither, Tom. I'm right there with you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, any other? Oh, I see uh, food vendors and food trucks. Sure, and we're here. still looking for some more. We've got some... plenty of room, yeah, for more. So, got, yeah, got some good. local options already we set do. up there. We do. I'm assuming. Yes, so. we do. And if somebody wants is interested in that, just do they contact you or yes. who do they contact? Yeah. Um, they can. Yeah, five seven four five two seven three thousand or um, reach um, through Facebook to the Akron Chamber page and. We'd love to set you up. Could they uh, reach to the Akron Summers End Fest Absolute. Festival page that too? Page also, yes. Okay. Please follow Great. us. Like and follow. Great. Uh, anything else you want to plug about the about the event going on? Yeah, and you know, most of all, we're grateful for our area businesses mm -hmm. um, that 
donate to help support. Um, they just really step up. I mean, you have a need and you ask for help and boy, they're there. So it's really a reflection of our community and our culture. And I'm um, so just really grateful for all our area businesses, not just Akron. We have our chamber um, encompasses, you know, outside our, our lines. So really grateful for the support. It takes a lot of people to put on a festival doesn't it it does it's, it it's, does but it's a lot of fun yeah it's a lot yeah. of work but a lot of fun yeah. it's rewarding to see it so is. um we'll, we'll put paul in charge of the weather uh, okay. I'm gonna yes. my best so it will I, fall evening <laughs> in the dry and, and when's the when's the festival again can you sure, remind everybody the date it, and time you bet it's saturday september 25th from four to nine so please join us bring your lawn chair or your blanket and just take a moment to pause and relax and you know be grateful and thankful for our community yeah and, and enjoy being able to get together this year as, absolutely. A, as a community so absolutely. that's something that i think we all kind of took for granted in sure. the past and then last year made us realize we're not going to take that for granted anymore absolutely when we, when we yeah. get those opportunities you bet and the nice thing is uh you said it ends at nine but it's not like at 901 you're going everybody get no. out of here so if no. you're all still hanging but out if you stay enjoying, after nine you can help clean up oh there you, you go, go. No. Hey, you can, but, and people would yeah, yeah. i'm sure yeah, well, would. of course i mean it's so good no. good community service there yeah. so yep. uh any, anything else you want to plug for the event at all or, Boy, um um, Are you in need so. of any volunteers? Um, we could always question. use volunteers. I mean, we I think we have it staffed okay, but we would welcome any volunteers. Okay. And I love um, even the younger people, um, young families, they um, see the importance of giving back to your community. And they've really stepped up, too. It's really neat to see. You've always had your old tr tried and true yeah. volunteers that have been there for years. But it's when you see fresh faces, it's inspiring. And, you know, the future of Akron's pretty bright. So. Yeah. Yeah, I like how you said you have the middle schoolers and the high schoolers yep. helping out yeah. with the kid games. That's, yeah, that's important. That's Again, important. you know, I, I'm bragging on our uh, the Valley students, but when it comes to community service like that, they are always there. Anytime I ask them or somebody has a need, I'm just so impressed. Um, yeah, they're there. They, they know well, it's yeah. important to serve. Well, and since you brought it up, you work for Tippecanoe Canoe Valley School Corporation. Yeah. How, how's school going so far? Hey, you know, it's... Um, you're remaining flexible. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, and that's a, the main thing I think we've had to learn during the past 18 months is um, remain flexible. And, you know, you have to pivot. Um, but we're grateful for our parents are um, so supportive and they're gracious um, and give us a lot of grace during these times. Um, and we're really grateful for that. Our students and our teachers especially, mm -hmm. um, you know, pivoting on a dime yeah. and um you know they rock it they they care we always say we care more <laughs> but um but i'm grateful for the community support the parent support and the students have been great the students are the best part of it yeah oh yeah. absolutely yeah. yeah yeah well that's great i'm glad to hear everything's going good so far yeah. so hopefully yeah. it continues and then well. uh, also valley just got a big grant safety grant oh, this ooh, week congratulations so, yeah through the indiana homeland security a um, hundred thousand dollars oh wow so, yeah congratulations goes, that's great yeah we're pretty excited it was a competitive grant so um and we're a little competitive so sure. <laughs> no not at all <laughs> not valley <laughs> i know so um yeah that's great i mean you know safety school safety is a priority absolutely um, so we're really grateful for well, that opportunity congratulations thank that. you thank you well i hope uh, you continue to have a great school year and thank i you. I'm looking forward to the festival. Should be a great yes, event. Should be fun. Thank you. Thank so you, Lori. Much. Thank you. All right, Paul. Two trivia questions today. Okay. First one. What was the original name of Akron, Indiana? Was it Newark, Delaware, Medina, or has it always been Akron? I'm gonna go with A. A Newark, you are correct. Akron okay. Akron was originally named Newark by settler settlers from Newark, Ohio. The name was changed to Akron in eighteen fifty five for the Ohio City. Okay. Question two, when did Labor Day become a federal holiday? Was it A, 1872, B, 1894, or C, 1902? Uh, you know, 94 sounds right, so we're going to go B. You're two for two today. Yes. June 24th, 1894. Okay. See, I wouldn't have gotten the June part, No, right? so I, I'm glad I mean, you didn't give me No, I wasn't going to give you that date. much, but two for two heading into Labor Day weekend, so... If you're on a roll. We'll have to try to stump you next week. We'll we'll see about that. It probably will happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's end on some words of wisdom from H. G. Wells. He was an English author. If you fell down yesterday, stand up today. 
Those are absolutely fantastic words of wisdom. And uh, thank you so much, Tanner, for thank uh, you, Paul. joining us again this week. And uh, look forward to seeing uh, you guys back next week for the first federal program. We'll be here. 730 right here on Giant FM. With those words of wisdom, this has been the first federal program. Join us every Friday at 730 on WROI Giant FM.